Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a little different. Um, I mentioned a while back that I had a pile of track on the floor. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do with that pile of track. It's uh, something that I actually did on this side of the layout. And if you watched my layout overview, you know that I had an issue with clearance between the two tracks on this side of the layout. So I expanded this side to 048. The other side of the layout remains 036. After running the trains, um, I realized how much better they look on the wider curves. I'd love to go bigger than 48, but I have limited size in the basement with the kids and all their stuff down here. So I'm gonna just try to bump out the other side of the layout to 048 as well. And along with those 048 curves, I'm gonna put a switch track in to create a small siding that eventually will expand into a yard when I'm able to take over more room on that side of the basement. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at what I did on this side of the table that I'm going to hopefully mirror on the other side, give you a little bit of an idea of what I did. Um, so this was originally 036 on the outside curve. It came around and it was pretty much right up against the inside curve here. There was a very little gap, um, especially right down here along the straightaway and these couple little turns here. So what I did was I added... Let's just get down a little lower so you can see I added about six, eight inches off the back side here of the table with just a thin piece of wood supported by some two by fours and the same thing along the side of the table. And that allowed me to go to 048 all the way around. And then I kind of brought it back into the main table right over here. So on this side of the layout where I still have the 036 and a small straight to bring the track all the way around, what I'm going to do is uh, take the same approach. I'm going to come back here and this is where the switch track will come off to create a little bit of a siding and then the 048 will come out. I'll slightly expand the table here, come around and come down. And the one thing I'm trying to figure out what to do is how to address this side of the table. At this point, my plan is to actually build a box and expand the table about six, eight inches all the way down. But what I do like is with this bump out that I created down here, it gives a nice little uh, bend in the track that um, adds a little bit of realism to the track. It's not just a straight all the way down the side of the table uh, track. So I'm going to try to play around with it. What I'm thinking is I'll expand the table, come down here, uh, it's about six, eight inches out, like I said, and then duck back in and then come back out or maybe something along those lines. I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. I figure once I get the track off the table and get the um, extra piece of wood added on the outside, I can play around with it a little bit and see what works. Okay, I took some things off the table now and I'm just kind of got the track laid out here to mock it up. But you can see what I'm trying to go for here, which is bring the siding out to an eventual yard that I'm hoping to build along this wall here and then bring the 042, excuse me, 048 all the way around. And as you can see, it hangs off the table here. So I'll expand out and down the table and bring it back in down there. The goal too, as you can tell, um, is I'm gonna to try to do something different with this, this tunnel and elevated track. I've actually ordered some new track and I'm gonna to try to raise this a little bit because I actually have stuff that won't fit under that tunnel. So before I actually do this 048 expansion, I'm going to actually pull that tunnel off because I probably won't be able to reach it once I add um, some more table to this side. So that's the plan. So that I'll lose my elevated loop for a few months while I try to figure out what to do with that tunnel at the same time.
it's been about a week now since my boys and I put the addition on the table, uh, and it's worked out fantastic. Uh, the 048 on this side of the table allows me to clear the tunnel without actually having to do any work on that. Um, that's good because I was hoping to uh, leave that project for a later date, so I'm gonna work on the upper loop and the, and the tunnel and the bridge back there, um, hopefully in the next couple of months. Um, we obviously still need to paint, uh, I need to move some signals, uh, add some more crossing signals down there, rewire um, these buttons hopefully through the table. Um, and I think I'm gonna either uh, change out this piece of wood at the end here or add another piece here to just kind of have this curve meet in at the corner here and make that look a little cleaner. But it really has worked out great. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video watching uh, us put this addition onto the table. May, please make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.